Hey, welcome back to another midweek devotional here at Faith Assembly of God. Uh, today I'm going to be reading out of 1 Kings chapter 18. Elijah is told by God, well, I'll just read it. It says, Now it happened after many days that the word of Yahweh came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, show yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain on the face of the earth. Now, if you know the story of Elijah and how he dealt with the bad king Ahab, you know that everything that follows is everything's going to get spicy really quick, right? Um, Elijah's going to go and he's going to face down the prophets of Baal and there's going to be this whole thing, miraculous fire falling from heaven. But even after all of that, even though Elijah goes to Ahab and, and he does what God says uh, and you know, tells him God's going to send rain. Ahab still wants to worship Baal. And so there's this confrontation and all this thing. Eventually, Elijah begins to pray. Even after all that stuff, he begins to pray and God sends the rain. It's incredible to me how many times we, we will say, God, you, your word says this, your, your word says that. And we just expect that magically it's going to happen or just because we want it to happen, it's going to happen. But we neglect to pray. We neglect to say, hey, God, when are you going to do this? Hey, God, I still believe you're going to do this. When are you going to do this? It's not because God's not sovereign and needs a reminder from us, but our faith begins to wane and begins to drift and begins to fall because we, we know God's promise. We know what God said he's going to do, but we don't want to pray. We don't want to seek him. We just want, okay, we want our thing. God do our thing for us. And, you know, maybe it'll happen, I guess. That, that, that ends up being our attitude. Really, what we're seeing take place in Elijah is great faith. He goes to Ahab. He says, hey, the drought's going to end, but you need to stop serving Baal. Ahab, yeah, he, he, he's going to, eh, I still serve Baal because Baal's my thing. No, he's not. Yahweh is our thing. God, the God of Israel is our thing. And so he ends up having that whole kerfuffle with the prophets of Baal. And God proves faithful. But Elijah's faith is tested. Elijah's reliance on the word of God is tested. And so I should ask you today with this devotional, what is testing your faith? What is testing your commitment to the word of God? Maybe it's something to pray about. Let's pray together. Father God, whatever is testing us, whatever is putting us through the ringer right now, I just pray that we overcome it. Your word says we're more than overcomers more than conquerors. And so, Father, I pray that we live like that in faith and in prayer, that we are encouraged by your word to pray, that we bless you in our prayers, that we align ourselves with your will in our prayers. And Lord, through our prayers, you do incredible miracles. Father, we trust you. We ask you to use us for building your kingdom. And we know the greatest miracle that you do every day is change the heart of a person from a heart of stone to a soft heart of flesh. And so, Lord, we just pray you use us and do that to us if it needs to be done. And we ask this according to your will. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. By the time you're watching this, we're in Christmas season. And I think we're going to take a little break for the holidays. Uh, we're going to review the midweek devotionals. Maybe we'll bring them back. Maybe we won't. Um, but if you do, I'm going to leave the comments open on this devotional. So if you do want to see more of these, make sure you leave a comment down below. Give us a like, subscribe, share this on social media. Let us know how much you're enjoying these, if you're enjoying them at all. Anyway, in the meantime, God bless you. I hope you have a great, great Christmas and New Year.